ProMotion NG gives pixel artists a powerful tool set and workflow for simultaneously creating tile sets and level tile maps for their games. And ProMotion exports the tile set and map data in several construct friendly formats so you can easily import them into your game projects. In a previous video, we showed how you can easily import these tile sheets and maps into construct layouts. But what if you want your construct project to load level tile maps at runtime? ProMotion NG now offers two custom map export formats designed specifically for this purpose. For each of these export options, be sure to select the version specific to either Construct 2 or Construct 3. For single layer tile maps, you can export from ProMotion using the JSON Construct Tile Map option. Then right click on the Files folder in the project bar and choose to import that JSON file that ProMotion exported. Now, in Construct, make sure you've got a tile map object in a layout and set it to use the image that ProMotion exported and make sure its tile dimensions are set properly. Now let's add an Ajax object to the project. In the event sheet, create an event that, at start of layout, Ajax object request file, name the tag map, and choose the JSON map file you imported. Now just add a second event that Ajax object on map completed tile map object set from JSON and in the place for the JSON string choose Ajax object last data. That's it. Now when you run the layout you should see the tile map you had created in ProMotion successfully loaded. If you ever need to update the map just re-export it from ProMotion and then re-import it into the file folder in Construct and then confirm you want to replace the current version of the file. Of course, if you added or removed tiles to the tile set and map in ProMotion, then you should also update the tile sheet image for the tile map object. For multiple layer tile maps, you can export from ProMotion using the JSON Construct Tile Map Layer Dictionary option. Make sure your project has both an Ajax object and a dictionary object. Also, add a global value called Tile Loop and make sure its initial value is zero. Be sure to import your dictionary file from ProMotion just as you had done with the single layer map file in the previous example. Then set up the layout in your construct project to have a layer for each layer of your level map and add an instance of a tile map object in each of those layers. Create an instance variable called which in the tile map object and set its value to zero in the backmost layer, one for the next layer up, and so forth. Then create an event that, at start of layout, Ajax object request file, name the tag map, and choose the file you had imported. Create a second event that, Ajax object on map completed, dictionary object load, and for the data string choose Ajax object last data. Now create a third event that, dictionary object is not empty, and dictionary for each key, and Tile map object which equals global value tile loop and trigger once while true. And for its actions, choose tile map object set from JSON. And for the JSON string, choose dictionary object for each current value. And finally, add an action to add one to the global value tile loop. If you had given each layer slower parallax settings in correlation to their perceived depth and added a sprite with some kind of movement and the scroll to behavior, you should be able to scroll around in your game level and test the perfect relative scrolling speeds. Thanks very much for watching.